After a wild overtime win in the Commonwealth Cup last week, the Hokies of Virginia Tech returned to Lane Stadium with their mindset on win number six and a trip to their 26th straight bowl game. Standing in their way, the Marshall Thundering Herd, who just missed out on the Conference USA title game and look to finish up 2018 on a four-game winning streak. The Hokies are ready. The Thundering Herd already. Will the freshman Isaiah Green help Marshall play spoiler for the second week in a row? It's Marshall and Virginia Tech coming up next. Welcome back to Lane Stadium. Marshall and Virginia Tech getting set for kickoff. Virginia Tech won the toss and Marshall will receive. As you can see, it's a foggy afternoon. Temps in the 40s. Wind around 10 miles per hour and right on cue the Ball gets knocked off the tee. Josh Appel, former Georgia quarterback Hudson Mason with you. There's Jordan Stout, the leader in FBS in touchback percentage. 54 of his 59 kickoffs have gone for touchbacks this year. Gets us started. Billis done a nice job. 18 touchdowns, eight interceptions this year. Through the fog. Keen with the reception and a nice defensive play for no gain. That ultimately sealed the win for Virginia Tech on that last drive. This fog is something else today at Lane Stadium. Willis to the end zone for Turner. And it's through his hands and incomplete. Good coverage by Carry on Merrill. Marshall just under 40% for the season on third down. Hokies bring pressure. Green looking for some space. Green will take off, and with an extra effort, I think he picked up the first down. He got 11. It looks like the Hokies had him bottled up. Belmar finally made the stop, but not before Green used his legs for the first down. Yeah, that's the part of Isaiah Green's game that uh, you really have to game plan for, whether it's four guys down linemen or linebackers. Belmar right here missing the his third down. You got third and four. They're going to try some QB draw. We saw Isaiah Green going through a progression. Did they try to use his legs to their advantage in this game. Through the fog, Green back to pass. He's hit. Let's go of it to Knox. He somehow shakes that tackle and picks up the first down. It was Nathan Proctor who had a shot at him about a yard shy of the line to gain. And Knox able to shake free back-to-back -back third down conversions when the Hokies had a chance to stop him short. Well, again, it's it's the lack of pass rush for Virginia Tech, although we saw it on the first player. Bud likes to bring pressure, but he likes to do it with his four down lineman. He might have to change that up this this game if that doesn't uh, if that doesn't pick up. Well, they bring pressure here. Green has to throw across his body and has a man wide open deep into Virginia Tech territory inside the 30. Armani Levias. A gain of 27 yards. Ashby finally made the stop. Again, Vatek decides to bring five here on a linebacker blitz. And Green just finding his guy outside the pocket. The key is there. He keeps his. Green has all day to throw. Fires it left side. And that's a catch for Tyree Brady. He now has a catch in 23 consecutive games. First and 10 for the Hokies from the 36. First carry of the game for Deshaun McLeese. And he has no room to work with. Picks up maybe a yard. And a nice stand for this Marshall defense. Grimsley recovered that Stephen Peoples fumble in the end zone last week against Virginia to tie the game at 31. Willis has that pass tipped at the line of scrimmage. And luckily for him, it falls harmlessly to the grass. He loses his starting quarterback early in the season, but he has this Hokies team in a position to win their sixth game and make their 26th straight bowl game as Willis is brought down from behind at the 40-yard line. Channing Hames with his fourth sack of the year. It's a loss of 10, and it brings up third down and a mile from the 40. If you talk to the Marshall defensive coaches this week, they spoke high praises of Channing, number 94. He's a freshman. Or he, excuse me, he has a... Uh, and this defense has been great. 12 weeks in a row, they haven't given up a single rusher to go over 100 yards. Last week was the first time a team went over 150 yards on him. 
But the Hokies defense, they've forced a couple of turnovers and a three and out. And on first down, Marshall keeps it on the ground with Brendan Knox. It's going to be fun today to watch kind of the chess match between Tim Cramsey, Marshall offensive coordinator, and this defense because he made it very clear. Look, Virginia Tech loves to load the box. Here's a big play. A foot race to the end zone for Knox. Will he be caught? Yes, a touchdown saving tackle inside the five yard line by Bryce Watts. But an explosive run of 67 yards for Brendan Knox and it's first and goal for Marshall. We talked about all these running backs being dependable, but you can see the overflow, the over for pursuit by Virginia Tech right there because of the fly sweep motion and it opens up the angle back door for Knox to create a gash, but it is great effort by Bryce Watts, who picked off the ball earlier. But this is a spot, okay, I don't think you've had a lot of success running in between the tackles because of Virginia Tech's two guys in the middle, Hewitt and Walker. I'd like to see you take Isaiah Green's skill set, his legs, maybe run a QB sweep to the right, get out on the edge, try to make something happen. Third and goal at the two. The handoff to Knox, and Knox is in. Marshall's on the board as the clock in the first quarter expires. Knox got him down there, and Knox finishes it off. That Brendan Knox touchdown. Well, oh, a big third down again, but put your eyes on the right guard, right tackle for Marshall right there, Madden and Adams. Look at the push they get on, the big cowbell. Defensive lineman Ricky Walker for Virginia Tech. That's really what kind of opens up that crease for the touchdown run. And he's last week for 43 yards and then four catches. So they get him involved in all different sorts and types of plays. Quick play action and a reception to the right side. A first down along the sideline. For Lavius, the tight end, a gain of 12, his second catch. Big drive. You got to respond. You got to find a way to get points right here. And I like the play call on first down. Get your quarterback into a rhythm. Settle them down a little bit. Knox with another carry, dragging a tackler for a first down near midfield. Dax Hollyfield and Reggie Floyd combine on the stop, but Knox drags them for 12 yards and another Marshall first down. Again, watch the right side of this offensive line for Marshall and Hollyfield and some of these guys up front for Virginia Tech. Just Bud Foster will put eight, nine guys in the box, and he's going to continue to do it. It is who he is and force Marshall to make plays in one-on-one -on -one situations. What a move by Knox, the line of scrimmage. And he's a yard shy of a first down. Reggie Floyd on the tackle. Third down and four for Virginia Tech. Willis underneath and a big hit at midfield by Chris Jackson. Coleman Fox took the brunt of it, but Jackson with the big hit forces a punt. Well, they have been playing man coverage on third down. This time they play zone and they pass off the underneath route to Jackson. Against Virginia and they need a win today over Marshall to earn that bull bit. On first down, Green throws, and it's caught for a medium gain on first down. Second and four. Knocks the carry, trying to get to the outside, and does. The first down and more for Knox. Down the sideline. Still in bounds, inside the 30, and down to the 28 before Bryce Watts pushed him out. Brendan Knox, what a story, a gain of 38 yards. He has a touchdown, a rush for 67 yards, and this big game. Well, Bryce Watts comes off the corner blitz, and he almost gets Knox before he trips, but watch away, Knox, boom, boom, finish it. But 42% of his passes were only completed last week. That's not very good. Today, it's, it's a much different storyline, and he looks really, really comfortable. Here's Green, the freshman, trying to answer back, and he goes underneath as Diablo makes the tackle on Artie Henry. Of course, they had the missed extra point as well. A lot of miscues in this first half for the Thundering Herd. They go at the tunnel screen to Henry, and he picks up the first down, and if he didn't get tripped up, he would have had a whole lot more. He's frustrated as he gets up. He knows it. There's a jailbreak screen. That would have been a 15, 20-yard gain. Ashby again. Hustle plays to the ball, rallying to the football. That's so Bud Foster type defense. Knox with a nice gain on first down to the 44 yard line. Play 
play action. Willis pressured. He's hit and goes down. Second sack of the day for the Marshall defense. And it's Channing Hames again. Looked like he might have had Willis might have had Grimsley going across the middle. Let's take another look. Yeah, second sack for Hames today, and I thought Willis should have pulled the trigger right here. It's the same type of play they've been running all day. It was Willis just not pulled the trigger when the guy was open. On third down, Willis is sacked again. And guess who? Channing Hames. Back-to-back -back sacks, and the Marshall defense. Hold strong. Yeah, you sure would. And if you're Marshall, you got to dig deep here. I know th you've been backed up on your own side of the ball a couple times, but again, making a play. Bad field position. That's Marquis Couch. That's three consecutive negative plays on offense. Remember the last Virginia Tech drive ended with back to back sacks by Channing Hames. There, a loss of five on the tackle by Couch of Peoples in the backfield. Advocate, a big proponent of give your quarterback an option to go somewhere with the ball that's very advantageous for your offense. Green steps up over the middle, and he has Tyree Brady to the first to the 40-yard line for a first down. Uh, to me, especially in your front four, being able to generate pressure, again, not just sacks, because sacks can be a misleading number, but affecting the quarterback in many ways. Here's a big play and a first down for Marshall inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. Diablo makes the stop, but not before Obialo with the catch and run of 21 yards. Picks up a fresh set of downs for Marshall. Yeah. You see it was 10 to 6 after the first quarter, but a 21-point second. Three touchdown passes for Ryan Willis has the Hokies up big. And now Marshall finally connects on a big play on the first play. Of the fourth quarter, it's a 34-yard touchdown from Green to Xavier Gaines, the tight end. It's Gaines' first touchdown of the season. They catch Virginia Tech in a two-high safety look, and they run a double move with Gaines, kind of an out and up. And it's a good job of keeping the receiver on the track. He's still got it. Here's a look at that touchdown one more time. And probably Green's best throw of the day as well. Oh, by far. And he threw it early, which is what you can't see there on that clip. But you're down three touchdowns. Virginia Tech is not expecting the onside kick. And they do indeed kick it deep. Return from the goal line. And a nice special teams tackle made. Shy of the 20. Try and get another score. McLeese, nowhere to go. Almost a suplex there. Uli the first to hit him. Uli Along with Malik Gant. FIU tops in Conference USA in third down percentage. Close to 50%, but they held him to 4 of 14. Virginia Tech is 3 of 9 today. Make it 3 of 10 as Marshall's defense gets the stop they needed. And they'll have to earn it to 85 yards from the end zone. It's the fifth time Marshall has started a drive from inside the 20. King around the outside. The first down and more out of bounds at the 31-yard line. The back official with his eyes on the ball and the player right there didn't call that. Marshall has to regroup now on second and 10. Green flush to his right, slings, and it's caught. Medium game there on second down. Chunk play. You just gifted it to him. Marshall now into Hokies territory at the 47. Blitz coming from Virginia Tech. They set up the screen to the receiver. And he has a lot of space down the right side, inside the 25. Diablo finally makes the stop on Marcel Williams. Another chunk play, a gain of 25 yards and a first down. It's a jailbreak screen. You're going to throw the ball, basically a quick screen out to the perimeter. Watch these offensive linemen. you got to catch the ball behind the line of scrimmage for it to be legal. Catch it, get north, follow your big boys. Those recruits like seeing, hey, I, I go to Marshall. I can go play some big-time football against some of the best opponents in the country. And you mentioned winning, and this is a program, as you saw Chris Jackson able to walk off the field with some help. 
If we get an update, we'll give it to you as Peoples. Nope, Willis kept it. He's wrestled down well behind the line of scrimmage at the 30-yard line. Omari Cobb with the play. And he's played a big role in the field position battle today as well. Draw play to Knox on first down. Knox gets to the outside and picks up the first down, a gain of 11. If they end up beating Texas by more than two touchdowns and, and Ohio State squeaks one out, Oklahoma's going. Fourth and short, here's Green. All day, trying to find someone to throw it to. And has his tight end for a first down to the 40-yard line. With under three minutes to go in the game, Marshall trying to take some sort of momentum. That's an 18-yard gain on fourth down. They would have loved to have had the two fourth down conversions earlier. They're now one for three in the game. Now you mentioned Rakeem Cato, the quarterback for Marshall from 2010 to 14, and this is Rakeem Cato-esque, just playing a little backyard football. No touchdowns and that red zone interception. Green pressured, steps up. He's going to take off. The first down and more, and he ducks out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Again, Marshall already clinched their spot in a bowl game. They were hoping to finish the season on a four-game winning streak, but that looks like it's coming to an end. Virginia Tech had everything to play for. Now that Florida State's bowl streak is over after a 5-7 and seven season in Willie Taggart's first year in Tallahassee, Justin Fuente, with all the adversity that this team has had to deal with this year, is two minutes away from Virginia Tech going to their 26th straight bowl. Here's a bullet caught inside the 10 by Xavier Gaines, who had the touchdown earlier. What should excite Marshall fans about the future of Isaiah Green, because he's only a redshirt freshman, is when I watch these athletic quarterbacks, I kind of dissect them and, and look at it from the point of, okay, I know he can make plays with his legs, but does he rely on his legs every play? That's what I think why the future is so bright for Isaiah is because he's a passer first, a runner second. Knox trying for his second score of the game, and he's in there. Touchdown, Marshall. And a nice piece of momentum for Marshall to take in to their bowl game. Yeah, and it's a credit to the mental toughness for them to just continue to play, continue to play.